So let's just say you have a WooCommerce website and people land on your product page here or they land on your shop page and they're going through and they're building up their cart. So they're adding products to the cart. And if we click up here, this is my current cart. Now, when I click through to go to my checkout page, I land on this here. Now, the way that I go out and build a custom checkout page like this that looks like Shopify's that I can edit using my favorite page builder is using a plugin called WooFunnels. Now, a lot of the videos on my YouTube channel to date have covered WooFunnels. It is probably my favorite plugin for WordPress. It literally is the one plugin that you need to increase the amount of profit you can make with your WooCommerce website. And it is the best plugin for going out and building opt-in funnels, opt-in pages to build your email list. So building your audience and making more sales with your WooCommerce website basically ticks all the products that you, all the boxes that you need as a business owner trying to make money online with WordPress. Now, one of the things that it does is allow you to customize your WooCommerce checkout page. But another thing that WooFunnels allows you to do is the following. Just let's just say people get to the checkout page and they review their information and they click continue to shipping. So this is the second step in the checkout. Again, this wizard style checkout page for your WooCommerce website is something that WooFunnels allows you to do. But if we go to the third step and we have a look here as a customer browsing this website and then going through the checkout process. When I get to this final payment step, I can review all my details from the previous steps to see if I've made any errors. And if I have, I can just edit here and then change it. But when I go back to the payment, we also have this here. So this is called an order bump. This is your last chance to show an offer to your customer and possibly make another sale, sell another product and make more profit with your WooCommerce website. These are incredibly powerful and the conversion rate on these is usually quite high. Now these order bumps is one of the features that WooFunnels allows you to do. And it does a lot of different stuff related to these order bumps. So for example, you can set up an order bump and only show it if there's specific items in the cart, or you could only show it if an, if an item isn't in the cart. So let's just say I am trying to do an order bump here and promote my single because I'm a, I'm a band. I've just released a single and people can get my new single for 10% off, but maybe I don't want to show this offer here if that's single is already in their cart. WooFunnels gives you that flexibility. But these advanced features related to the order bump, I'm going to cover in a video that I'm going to be posting uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try and get it out tomorrow. It's a very long video, very in-depth, and it shows you how to use all my favorite features inside of WooFunnels. So definitely watch out for that. And the reason that I did that video is that currently, if you go to the WooFunnels website, which I'll link in the description below, which is my affiliate link, you can go there. They currently have a 40% off sale. Now, I think it just ended, but I think it's been extended for another 24 hours. So uh, I'm not sure when it's going to end, but definitely click the link below and see if it still is available. I think it might be, uh, you know, 24 hours from now until it expires. But that's the reason that I made that really big video. And when I was going through and filming that video, I actually realized that I got something wrong in one of my previous YouTube videos. So this order bump here, what WooFunnels allows you to do out of the box is A-B test these order bumps. And I made this video here about four months ago where I showed you how you could have the checkout form and you could have two variants. So one checkout form would look like this and then you'd have a variation where you don't show the order bump and you A-B test to see, you know, how that affects it. How much extra profit, profit do you make from having this order bump or, you know, on the rare instance that maybe adding an order bump decreases your conversion rate. I'm not quite sure, but you know, you just want to test everything. So in that video, I showed you how to set up that A-B test to have this order bump versus not having it and see which one made you the most profit. And the way that I showed you in this video to do that is actually wrong. So I want to do this video today, make it short and simple and show you how you would go and A-B test an order bump using WooFunnels. And then in tomorrow's video, I'm going to cover all the other features, but I just wanted to do that here today just to let you guys know that there is a sale going on and I will have a more extensive video that's maybe, you know, one and a half to two hours long posted tomorrow that's going to help you use WooFunnels. So let me show you how you would go and A-B test this order bump to show it or hide it. So let's go back here and we're going to go to the dashboard and then we want to go to WooFunnels and Funnels. So here's a list of all the funnels in my website and this one global checkout, if we click into this, it has one step, which is a checkout step. Now this is actually set as my global checkout checkout page. In WooFunnels, the plugin, the terminology where they refer to your global checkout, they define your global checkout. If we go here under settings and then checkouts, 
and then global checkout, the selected checkout page will replace your default WooCommerce checkout page. So whichever checkout step we select here becomes the checkout design when people add products on our main WooCommerce website, go to cart and then go to checkout. The design shown there will be whatever we select here. So if we go back to WooFunnels here, so WooFunnels funnels and then global checkout, that is that step here. So what we wanna do now is we wanna add an order bump here. So let's go add order bump and we're gonna call this my new single and we'll go add and then we're going to click into this and then here we need to add a product to this order bump so we'll go add product and i'm going to say single and this is searching our database of woocommerce products there it is i'll click add then add product and there it is so i might give here 15 percent off the sale price and we're going to add it to the cart items and you can choose where it shows in the checkout form i like to put it here below the payment gateways i'll click save now let's go to design let's customize how it looks so here i'll say so here i said wait Add my latest single to your order and save. Be one of the first to own my new single grant song. Then down here, we could select a custom product image. I'm just gonna use the featured image of that product in WooCommerce. So I'll click save and now that's saved. So if we go to the front end of our website and we go to our checkout page, if we go through all these steps, so next, next, you can see that that is showing there. So let's set up our A-B test, our experiment. So back in our dashboard, under WooFunnels, we have this option called experiments. So this comes out of the box with the WooFunnels plugin. So if we go experiments here, we can click create experiment and then we can do a checkout page and click save and continue. And then here we're gonna select our checkout page. So it's this one here, checkout, well it's global checkout like Shopify. That's what I called the page. So I'll click on that. And then here I'm gonna say show versus hide my single and then I'll go create experiment. Okay, that's gonna create the experiment. And now we have the original there. So I'm gonna duplicate that. So that's done and then configure figure the traffic and I'm going to make these equal weights. So 50% of traffic sees the order bump, 50% will not see the order bump and I'll go update. So now that's done. So I'm going to edit the variant here. So I'm going to go edit and then here I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to click edit. Now this variant, this variant is going to be the one that we add the order bump to because a lot of the time, for example, you have a WooCommerce website right now, you have a checkout page and if you don't have WooFunnels, you don't have an order bump. So your progression into adding order bumps to your website and you're setting up an A-B test will probably be your baseline currently where you have no order bump and you want to A-B test adding an order bump and seeing how it works. So by default, our main default um, checkout page will not have an order bump and this variant that we're adding will have the order bump. So here I'm going to just do this. I'm going to go with order bump my single like that and I'll just copy that and put that down there and go update and now that's created. Now we don't want to edit anything else here. Whenever you set up an A-B test, you only want to change one one thing so that you know that one thing had that that result or affected your results and your analytics, you know, because of that one thing. So if we go back to experiments and then we click into our experiment. So we have our original here and then we have that variant that we duplicated from the original, but we haven't actually specified how to show or hide that order bump. So this is how you do that. And this is the mistake that I made in my original YouTube video. This is the correct way to do it. So you don't want to do anything in experiments here. What you want to do is you want to go back to funnels and then click into our global checkout. And then in our checkout step, our order bump, we want to click to edit our order bump and then click on rules. And then we're going to add a rule for this order bump. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom checkout, Woo Funnels checkout pages. And we're going to select matches any of, and then we need to select the experiment. So the variant B that we set up with the order bump. So click there. So unless it's our variant in the experiment, the order bump does not show. So then we click save. And now that's ready to go. All we need to do now is go back to experiments and then click to edit and and then click start and then click start now. And now that's started. So now 50% are gonna go to our original where the rule is going to not output the order bump. And then the other 50% are gonna go to this variant where the rule is met and then the, the order bump is going to be output. And then over time, as people go through, we would come under here and go to analytics. And then you can see on a graph how that's sort of correlating there, but go down here. This is the main thing that I use here. And then you want to focus on these stats here. Looking at these stats here, you'll be able to work out which one's giving you the most profit. Let's just say the order bump is the one that's generating us the most net profit after we want to say that this test has been valid. It's had enough traffic to declare this the winner. We would go declare a winner. 
And then we would select this one here. So we'll go trophy and then declare winner. And then you can see what this is going to do here. The winner variant will be live on your site. The losing variants will go draft and no longer be visible. You'll also always have access to this experiment. This experiment will be marked as complete. So we'll go declare the winner. And now that has run. Now, when you mark this experiment as completed, usually what happens is WooFunnels, you know, does whatever it needs to do in your database to get that losing variant and replace it with your winning variant. But what's happened now is that because we did all of this based on rules, just in this specific example, this isn't going to work. If we go to our checkout page now and reload the page here and go continue to shipping and then continue to payment, you can see that it hasn't output that order bump. And you know, ju we just know that this one won with the order bump. So all we need to do is go back to our funnels, click into here. And then here where it has rules, we just want to go into there. And then under rules, we want to set this to no rules so that the order bump always shows, which obviously the winning variant was when the order bump showed. So by doing this, now we're with the winning variant live on our website. So if we go to our checkout and reload the page and we go to shipping and then we go to continue payment, we can see that the order bump is there. So now that we know that this order bump is better than not having an order bump from that first experiment, what I'd recommend doing now is A-B testing the pricing or the discount. So, so to A-B test, the pricing of our order bumps now, all we need to do this is very easy. So we'll go to Woo Funnels and then Funnels. Then we go back to our global checkout and then we're going to edit our order bump where it has rules and we need to remove the rules. So I'll go rules and we'll set this if we go up to no rules. So it always shows. So we'll click save. Now it's done. So let's go back. So now we're back to editing our funnel and then this checkout step, the order bump, we can go over to here and go AB test. Now we're creating an AB test for this and then here we can go duplicate and then here we can go equal weights so 50 and 50 and go confirm and then let's go ahead and edit our variant. So go edit and then let's make this 20% off. And then up here, I'm going to give that the name 20% off and click add. So that's done. So let's click save. So we set up our two variants. So if we go to experiment, so there's our order bump experiment we just created and we'll go edit and let's just give this a better name. So order bump, my new single 10 versus 20% off. And you can also do 30% off. Let's do that. Okay. Verse 30% off and we'll go update. So that's done. All we need to do is just duplicate one of these and configure traffic, equal weight, update. That's done. And then let's edit this one. And then I'm just going to rename this to 30% off and click add. And then here we'll go 30% off and save. And then back in experiments, all we need to do now is put it live. So we'll click into this and we'll go start and then start now. And now that's running. So over time, as we get traffic, we can click on analytics and go down and we'll be able to see what price for the order bump is bringing, making us the most profit in our business based on this data here. You can also, there's two different places you can look at the analytics. So you can look at it here under experiments or you can go into the funnel and then we could go to global checkout and then we can go to analytics over here. And you can also see here, it says there's an AB test running here, which is very helpful. But if we go to analytics, now we're seeing the stats for the entire funnel. Me personally, I find myself looking more at this analytics versus the experiment section. So you can see here how many people have been to see this um, funnel. So it doesn't show you specifically for the experiment, it shows you for the entire funnel. But if you go down, you can see a breakdown of your A-B test here. So here's our original with variant B and variant C. And you'll be able to see from the data here, which, which one's making you the most profit. But you can also see your entire funnel using this data here as well. So if you're looking to make more profit with your WooCommerce website or build your email list, definitely go and check out this deal on WooFunnels here and look at the Autonomy deal here, the bundle. I have a review view on the Autonomy plugin. It's the best CRM for WordPress and it integrates very tightly with WooCommerce. It gets rid of active campaign. It's just, it's really good. You need to check it out. I did a whole review on it that I'll link below, but definitely check out this deal and, you know, fingers crossed that the 40% off is still running and look out for the big video that I'll be releasing tomorrow, which is again, about an hour long that goes over all my favorite features of WooFunnels. And I build a sales funnel and customize my WooCommerce checkout page live in that video. In the meantime, if you want to get started learning more about sales funnels and how you could go out and use WooCommerce to make money using WooFunnels, I would go and watch this video here. I build an entire sales funnel using WooFunnels from start to finish and it has some unique things that I haven't covered in any of my other videos. Uh, one of which is adding an opt-in form as the first step in your funnel. So you send all your traffic to a landing page and they click and then a pop-up shows where you capture their email address. And when they click submit, that goes into your CRM and then you take them to a sales page.
page where you sell a product. And if they don't purchase on that sales page, you have their email in your CRM and you can send them emails back to that sales page to hopefully make more profit with your WooCommerce website. So I'll link to that video as well. It's on screen now and I'll see you guys in that video.